All right, everyone, Phil here again. We have a lot of awesome new stuff to show off, so we're just gonna jump right in. So without further ado, welcome to this demo of Webinar Kit Live 2.0. So the awesome feature set of Webinar Kit Live makes it super easy to run fully live webinars so that you can maximize engagement with your audience and skyrocket your conversions, sales, and more. Now with Webinar Kit Live, the first thing you'll see here is the Webinar Kit dashboard where we have a list of all the webinars in your account. And you'll notice that we conveniently label these webinars as either live or automated. So that way you can really quickly get a glance of everything going on in your account. So really quick, I'm gonna create a new live webinar here just to show you guys how easy it is. So I'm gonna select this new webinar button and I'm gonna click this new live webinar option from the dropdown and that'll take us to step one of our create webinar flow. And on step one here, we can edit some basic details of our webinar. We can specify the name of our webinar. We can specify the duration. We can set up a custom brand image that will get shown to your attendees and registrants across your various uh, webinar pages like the registration page, the thank you page, the watch room, for example. Now, in addition to that, you can set up a webinar presenter or multiple webinar presenters for your live event. And then of course, you can also specify a webinar schedule and we have some very powerful customization options here. So for example, you can specify a specific or single time and date for your webinar event. You can specify multiple specific times and dates, or if you really want to as well, you can also specify uh, reoccurring events. So for example, if you want to have your webinar happen every Wednesday at 2 p.m., for example, that's really easy to do here. So once you're done with all your basic settings for your webinar, you can save that simply by clicking save or clicking on this next button, and that'll take you to step two of our webinar flow here. So here on step two, you can quickly customize the look and feel of your various pages throughout your webinar funnel, including the registration page, the thank you page, and the replay page. Uh, so that way you can just get the exact look and feel that you want across all your pages. You can customize the branding fully and you can customize all the text on these pages so that way you maximize the amount of registrants and attendees you get to your webinar event. So just to show you a really quick example of what this editor looks like, I'm gonna open up this registration page editor and you can see right now it just loads up a default template with some default text. Again, all of this can be customized, the brand logo, all of the text here, your headline, your subheadline, the bullet points, um, the color of the button, the button text, images. Again, everything can be customized using our editor tool here. And we have multiple uh, templates or themes that you can select as well. So again, you have a lot of powerful customization options at your disposal here. So I just wanted to quickly show you what that looks like. So you can do this for your registration page, your thank you page, and your replay page. So with that done, we can move on to step three of our create webinar process. Now here on step three, we can customize the settings of our webinar watch room. You can specify whether you want a live chat box with a new option to either have public or private chat enabled. You can also set up an email questions box so your attendees can ask you questions which get sent to your email. And you can also set up a live webinar offer down here and this is great for if you're pitching some sort of product during your webinar event. It's also a great visual way for your attendees to see exactly what you're pitching or selling them. And we'll show this in action in just a little bit. Down below this section, we also have our webinar label customization settings. And this is great if you're running a webinar in a different language and you wanna customize the text in your webinar watch room, you can easily do that here by customizing all of the various labels and buttons. So that is some powerful customization there as well. Now, with that said, we can move on to the final step of our create webinar process. Here on step four, we have powerful email notification, segmentation and integration options so that you can send your attendees and registrants the exact email content you want them to see based on their behavior during the webinar. So for example, you can have webinar kit send out automatic confirmation one day reminder and 30 minute reminder emails in addition to a bunch of other options that you can turn on if you wish. So for example, if you want to email people that did not attend the webinar, you can click on this switch box right here 
And I'd also like to point out that you can fully customize the text found within all of these emails. Now, in addition to our built-in email notifications, we also have integrations with popular email platforms such as ActiveCampaign, AWeber, and you can see the full list right here. And in addition to that, we also have an integration with Zapier, which enables you to integrate with literally thousands of other applications out there. And lastly, on this page, you can also add scripts throughout your entire webinar funnel if you have custom analytics or conversion tracking that you would like to do. So you can see Webinar Kit offers you a ton of customization options for your live webinars while also letting you get set up in just a couple of minutes. Okay, so with all of that setting stuff out of the way, let's get to the fun stuff and show off all the great new stuff in Webinar Kit Live 2.0. So back here on the dashboard, when it's time for your presentation, you'll wanna find your live webinar, click on that get links option, and then you'll want to find your watch room link. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that watch room link and that's gonna take us to the room. So, hey everyone, here I am. Welcome to the live webinar watch room. Now, the first thing you'll probably notice is this main video presentation area. Now, this is exactly what your attendees are going to see once you go live on your webinar. Now, underneath this video presentation area, you'll probably also notice these buttons. And the first thing I wanna highlight here is this webcam button, which is already selected, and that's because we're currently sharing my webcam. Now, say I get a little camera shy during my presentation and I want to hide my video, it's as simple as just clicking on this toggle button right here, which will hide the video feed, but still allow the audio to come through so all of my attendees can still hear my voice. Now, next to that webcam button, we have our screen share button, which lets us share our screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that, and I'm going to select a text file that I have set up here already. And just like that, I am now sharing this window on my webinar presentation. So this is a great way to share any content that you might have on your computer quickly and easily. Now, another awesome new feature we have in Webinar Kit Live 2.0 is the ability to share your webcam video while you are also sharing screen content. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like now. I'm gonna click this setting switch and then on this toggle switch here, and you'll see that in the upper left corner of our video presentation area now, I am now sharing my webcam video. So this is a great way to connect with your webinar audience while you are also sharing content from your computer screen. So in addition to that, you can also quickly and easily toggle your screen sharing just by clicking on this button, just like you can do with the webcam video. Now to the right of that screen share button, we also have this mute audio button, which lets us mute our microphone quickly and easily. So we can just toggle our microphone input simply by clicking on this button. So this is great for if you have guest presenters on, say for example, and you want to mute your own microphone while they are speaking, you can quickly and easily do that just by clicking on this button. Now in the middle here, we have this big join room button. You can click this to enter into the backstage area where you and any guest presenters on your webinar can interact and see and talk with each other before going fully live to all of your attendees. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this and confirm that I want to join the room. Now you'll see that this button turned into a start webinar button. Again, we haven't gone fully live to our attendees yet. So this is a great way to finalize any camera settings or microphone settings and confirm any topics with guest presenters and so on before actually going live. But anyways, let's hit that start webinar button and you'll see this text in the top left here now says we are live and you'll see this button down here says end webinar. And it's also important to note that the webinar recording is now started and this session will be recorded until you hit that end webinar button. So that way, if you have a really good webinar session where you nail your pitch, you can go and retrieve that recording later and potentially turn it into an automated or like live webinar or just send that replay out to anyone that missed your webinar session. 
All right, so moving on, I wanna share some other brand new features that we've added to Webinar Kit Live 2.0. So I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna select this share button right here. And you'll see that this brings up some brand new options like share slides, share video, share whiteboard, and share offer. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this topmost one right here, share slides. And you'll see that this brings up this dialogue right here. And I'm gonna select to share this slide deck that I previously uploaded. So I'm gonna click this button and you'll see that my presentation pops up now in the video presentation area. And this is a slide deck that I previously made. Now down here at the bottom, we also have some controls to move forwards and backwards through our slide presentation. So as you can see here, I'm just toggling back and forth through my slide deck. And I also wanna point out that we have the ability to share our webcam as well just like we could with the screen share feature. So again, this is a great way to connect with your audience while you are sharing your slide deck presentation. Now, moving on, I wanna share some other new features we have with Webinar Kit Live 2.0. So I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of this slide deck, and then I'm gonna click on that share button again and select this share video option. So this is gonna give us the ability to share a pre-recorded video with our entire webinar audience live on the call. So I have a video here that I've already uploaded to this account, and then I'm gonna click on this share selected video button, and you'll see that now we are playing a pre-recorded video to our entire webinar audience live on this call, and they are both seeing this video and hearing the audio of this pre-recorded video. Now, in addition to that, you'll notice that the webcam is still going here. So this is a great feature to have if you want to talk to your audience while there is a pre-recorded video going on as well. Now, if you want the pre-recorded video to take up the full frame of the screen, you can do that as well simply by clicking on this toggle webcam button, just like I showed you earlier. And now the pre-recorded video is the only thing that our webinar attendees are seeing. Now, in addition to that, we have some controls here so that you can start and stop this video at your leisure during the webinar presentation. So with that said, I'm going to exit out of this video sharing feature right here. I'll untoggle my webcam here, so I'm back. And I'm gonna move on to some of the other new features that we've added to Webinar Kit Live 2.0. So I'm gonna click on this share button again. And now I'm gonna select the share whiteboard feature here. And you'll see that now we have a whiteboard that we can draw on and all of our attendees will see what's drawn on this whiteboard. So I can just go ahead and start drawing anything I want on this whiteboard. And now my webinar attendees are seeing exactly what I'm drawing here. And I can also go ahead and change marker sizes if I want to. I can change to any color I want. So again, this is just a great way to mock up or share some illustrations with your webinar audience and quickly show them whatever you want to show them. Now there's just a few more things I wanna share with you guys before we wrap up this demo. So I'm actually gonna switch over to another demo live room that we have here in order to show this to you. So here in this new demo room, you'll see that on the right side, we have live chat enabled. So this allows you and your webinar attendees to interact with each other via this text box so they can type questions or messages to you. You can send messages back or you can just choose to respond to their messages using your voice live on the webinar call. So that is an option as well. Now I also want to show you this final share option here, which is the ability to share an offer. So this is that thing that I showed off in these settings earlier that allows you to share a visual pitch or product during your webinar presentation. So let me just click on this to show you what it looks like. And you'll see that now our offer shows up here on the right side. So our webinar attendees are going to see this. They have a headline, a sub headline. You can show a price if you want. And of course, a call to action or button here that will take your webinar attendees to whatever page you want them to. So it could be a sales page or a checkout page. But again, this is just a powerful thing to have for pitch pitching or selling products on your live webinar call. And of course, you can also hide that if you want simply by toggling the option here. So the final thing I want to highlight here is this section in the top right. In this section, you'll be able to see a list of all your attendees that are currently in the live webinar room. And here on the presenters tab, you'll be able to see all of the presenters in your webinar currently. So currently, because there's no one in my demo webinar, there's zero attendees listed, 
but when someone joins, they would be listed here. Meanwhile, in this presenters tab, currently only the admin is in the room, which is me currently, but if you have any guest presenters, they will show up below here. Now, if you wanted to invite guest presenters into this webinar, it's as simple as clicking on this invite guest presenter option here, and you can just enter in their name and their email, and then click on this invite guest presenter button, and they will be sent a email where they can find a link that will allow them to join this webinar as a guest presenter. And you can also do that in the settings so you can send out those invites ahead of time if you want to do that as well. And the last thing I want to mention here is that you could have multiple presenters on screen at the same time so that your attendees can see and hear both you and your guest presenters simultaneously. So as you can see, there are a ton of powerful new features packed into Webinar Kit Live 2.0. We think you're gonna love all the options available at your fingertips and be able to start running webinars that your audience will love too. So that concludes this demo of Webinar Kit Live. Thanks for watching.